Hello viewers, thank you for joining us. In today's episode, we are going to present to you the case of a 51-year-old female who present with a recurrent vaginal bleeding for a period of 3 months. If you are joining us for the first time, kindly support our channel by subscribing and then giving this video a like. On ultrasound, we notice a hypoechoic heterogeneous mass that have completely occupied the cervical region. The mass has an irregular margin and they have extended all the way to the corpus of the uterus. The endometrium is dilated and harbors a simple fluid. And this is the androgenous hypochoic mass in a preterm image. The mass is uh, seen extending all the way from the cervical region into the uterine cavity. Uh, there is no vagina inversion at the moment. The mass shows moderate intraditional vascularity on color Doppler assessment. This mass is confined within the uterus and the cervix. There is no parametral inversion nor extension into the adjacent structures. The features of this mass are highly suggestive of a cervical carcinoma with a uterine involvement. The local lymph nodes are not involved at the moment. There is no evidence of hydronephrosis or the fluid collection within the pelvic. Though staging of a cervical cancer is more accurately done Clinically, the establishment of the size and the extent of involvement of the cancer will help in the treatment planning. Further imaging modalities such as MRI is uh, often recommended uh, for further assessment of uh, both uh, uh, local and the distance uh, uh, extension of the cancer. In summary, the service is completely occupied by a heterogeneous hypochoic mass that extends to the corpus of the uterus. The endometrium is dilated and harbors a simple fluid. Uh, there is no uh, parametra and uh, adjacent structure infiltration. The lymph node is not affected at the moment. Uh, these features are suggestive of a uh, cervical carcinoma with a uterine inversion. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.